Hello everyone, my name is Chastity. And I'm Megan. Today we are going to talk about online translators. Online translators are a good tool for you to use if you use them correctly. Often students use the translators to translate large portions of their text all at the same time. You should not use an online translator to translate large bodies of text or you will end up with a paper that is hard to understand. Another point I would like to stress here is that your teacher and writing tutor will know immediately that you used a translator to write your paper and that could upset your teacher and your tutor. Here is an example of a paragraph that has been translated into English. We will show you what the paragraph should look like in English and what the translator actually produced. We have highlighted the areas in which the paragraphs are different. You will notice that word choice and word order are different. These types of mistakes usually happen when large amounts of text are translated. This would be a good time for you to pause the video and look over the highlighted areas we have provided. Now let's look at what happens when you translate smaller amounts of text. When we translate a complex sentence, we can see that there are fewer errors in translation. However, the best way to use an online translator is to translate a single clause or phrase at a time. This ensures the most accurate translations and it is also far more beneficial for second language learning than simply cutting and pasting large sections of text into an online translator. Remember, online translators should be used as a tool to enhance learning, not as a shortcut to avoid writing in your second language. In conclusion, the online translator is a useful tool when you get stuck on a word or a phrase, but do not use it to translate your entire paper. Thank you. Thanks.